Hi, my friends call me Lime, and does the Bible teach that homosexuality is wrong? Well, one of the most used stories to claim that homosexuality is evil is the story of Sodom. And basically the story goes that two angels arrived at the city of Sodom and then a man named Lot invited them to stay the night at his house and that night all the other men in Sodom had surrounded the house saying that where are the men who came to you tonight bring them out to us so that we can have sex with them. Uh, Lot then refused but for some reason offered his two daughters instead. The men then said, get out of our way, this fellow came here as a foreigner and now he wants to play the judge will treat you worse than them. The story then goes on about Lot escaping and the story then continues. By the time Lot reached, reached Zor, the sun had risen over the land. Then the Lord rained down burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of the heavens. Thus he overthrew those cities and the entire plain, including all those living in the cities and also the vegetation in the land. So the argument from the homo-negative side is that in this story, men wanted to have sex with men and after that God destroyed the city. To them, a clear message that homosexuality is wrong. So let's debunk that. In this series, we're going to analyze every passage in the Bible that people use to try to argue against homosexuality. And we're going to look at why I and so many Christians believe that the homo-friendly interpretations make more sense. So let's look at this passage again. Look at what it says here. Bring them out to us so that we can have sex with them. Get out of our way. We'll treat you worse than them. This is what people think that the nature of homosexuality is? What do they think goes on in the bedroom of a typical homosexual couple? I brought you here to plow thy bottom like it was butter. I'm going to treat you worse than never before. Why would people think that this shows that homosexuality is wrong? The men in Sodom wanted to have sex with those men, or at least what they thought were men, against their will. It's so obviously about rape which is wrong no matter what gender the victim is, a stance that the LGBT plus movement of course also has. It's, it's like people are forgetting that homosexuality, just like heterosexuality, is about love. Either that or they're forgetting that rape is not about love. And furthermore, in the Bible, there are stories about women getting raped by men, and it also covers men and women coming together in adultery, and it would be wrong to interpret those texts to mean that heterosexuality is wrong. So, we clearly see that just because a sin involves penetration between a man and a woman, it doesn't mean that the sin is heterosexuality, and we must use the same logic when it comes to the story of Sodom. Sure, it involves men wanting to stick their penises inside other men, but the sin isn't homosexuality, it's rape. And also, there's a parallel story in Judges 19, and in that version, the men in Sodom ended up raping the woman that Lot offered instead. So tell me, where is the homosexuality? So, that's it for this video. There are more things to be said about this topic though, because there are other parts in the Bible talking about the sins of Sodom, giving us more clues about what those sins were. And in a future episode, we'll talk about those too. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.